it gets old. It gets so old trying to, um, you know, fight this continual battle of, of this, you know, twisted thinking about Trump. Um, I have experience with um, serpents, not literally, but the, the, the serpent mentality, the mind mentality, I, I have some a little bit of experience with, with that stuff. And I'm going to tell you why it's completely the opposite of Trump. Because as I said in my last video, Trump's deeds, and that's what we're to look at, the deeds... That's why Jesus said the, with the Pharisees, yeah, follow their words, but don't follow their deeds. Because Jesus was saying the deeds are more important. And they were speaking the words Jesus wanted, but not doing the deeds. So what narcissists will do, that, that mentality, serpent-like mentality, um, is they just speak the words. They do. If if they do do a good deed, first of all, it's really not a good deed because they're doing it for another reason, but it's excruciatingly painful for them. They don't want to do it. They don't. But they will say all these things. They will promise all these things. They will, oh, just fall all over themselves telling you everything you want to hear and you think that they're great. This is what Obama did too. Um, except the deeds are never there. And when push comes to shove, they, they, they can't do the deeds. Or if they can, they can only do it for like a short time. And you'll see the resentment and hate they have at you because they had to do it. That's what a serpent is. Trump, on the other hand, his deeds were shown to be true. Uh, these women that, you know, came fresh out of trafficking, they all had different stories and, um, they can't just be put back. They can't just go back to their families. They need help transitioning because they've been used as a piece of meat their whole life. Most of their life, even though they always were like not even 25, 21, 22. Horrible pain and trauma. Flashbacks. And one that took her own life. She jumped out of a moving van into oncoming traffic on an expressway. The day before Thanksgiving. Um, so Trump not only put money towards building a wall to stop these, these serpents that traffic these children or young adults or they were children likely when they got them but but he 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 did even more than that he went further with having you know putting money towards these faith-based homes so that these people these these young women uh, would have a chance at being able to adjust back into society again they came from all over the country they they wanted to um get their lives back together um, so he was able to stop and think about what these women will need even after they come out of trafficking so that that's what his deeds are and that's just on that there's many other good deeds and here's the thing that's different with Trump is he doesn't brag about it I, I've said before just recently, he brags about his buildings. He'll brag about um, uh, how good he does this or how good he does that. God doesn't mind that because what he does that he doesn't speak about is help the most vulnerable. He did it before he was in office and he's done it while he's been in office. But you won't hear him talk about it. And you know why? Well, because he he know he understands the Bible. He has a relationship with God. You know, this idea that people judge others and think, oh, they don't have any relationship with the Bible. He doesn't know the Bible. How do you even know that? I mean, I can tell he does. He does have an understanding of the Bible because just recently I read the verse about how God said it's not a good deed if you if you talk about it. 
good deeds are done in secret. So just think about all the hate that's thrown at Trump, all the hate, all the time. And, and, and if it was me, I would be lashing out saying, I did this and I did that and, and, and pulling those good deeds into it. He never does. Why? Because he respects God. And he knows that verse in the Bible that says you don't brag about those things. So the things you do hear him brag about, those aren't big, that's not, that's fine for him to brag about. But his good deeds, you don't, he never talks about it, never. Not before he was in office and not when he was in office. You would see him sign a bill that was going to be for funding towards um, eradicating trafficking, signing a bill for the wall. All of those things were to, um, to uh, do something about the trafficking. That was the number one priority. And I saw how it was the number one priority to him. And all those serpents that hate him, they hate him because he exposed them. And he was doing the right thing. And this world will call people that do the right thing bad people. And that's the reason why God put in the Bible, they will call good evil and evil good. That's how twisted the world is. But the serpent, the nar uh, the narcissist, the devil, Satan, whatever you want to call it, the wicked, they, they, they'll they only give you words because they don't have it in them to do the good deeds because they're a heart full of wickedness. And yet Trump, day in and day out during his presidency, was doing good deeds, but because he didn't brag about it, and instead, he stood up for himself. People just make their assumptions and they don't think. They don't understand the Bible. The serpent, the wicked, cannot do good deeds. They don't have it in them. It takes having a heart that God's regenerated for you to do good deeds. So that's not what... People have this belief that the, the the devil with the wicked whatever you want to call it the serpent that it will do good deeds to deceive people it can't that's the reason Jesus made it a point to say the father of lies cannot speak truth don't be deceived so if he can't speak truth it's because like Jesus said there's no truth in him so there's no good in him. He can't do any good. That's not who Trump was. Not at all. But what that serpent and wickedness will do is we'll talk about all these good things, all these things they're going to do. And they never do them. Or they do something totally different that's harmful to this country. That's the leadership we had prior to Trump. They, 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 they make the good speeches, do the good words, but the deeds, they're not there because they don't. They have a heart of stone. God didn't replace their hearts. When God regenerates your heart, that's where your good deeds come from. And you don't brag about it. You, you do it in secret the way that Jesus said to do it. All the wicked can do is tell you. And what that wicked has done has told a bunch of people all these horrible things about Trump. And... <laughs> I'm at this point where it's like if you people want to believe that then don't then at least please do not say you follow the Bible because you don't God wanted us to recognize the people that do good not just speak good but do good Trump did good with everybody that does research, it's, it's easy to research how much he put towards ending human trafficking, how much he put towards saving our country and, and giving it back to the people. But yet there's still those people out there so twisted in their mind, they call him a serpent. Unbelievable.